Okay, what is this garbage? Hmm. Oh, this is nonsense. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a great analogy. So, uh, this is awkward. Uh, the analogy that I came up with was actually pretty terrible. So let's get into that. So to set the stage here, you need a little bit of background info. So in 2020 in the Stanley Cup playoffs, the Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Dallas Stars. So that's why Tampa Bay is up top, Dallas is number two, and everyone else is number three and lower. So the Tampa Bay Lightning were the champions. Being champions, that affords you certain entitlements, such as hoisting the Stanley Cup, getting your name etched on the cup, a Stanley Cup parade, championship rings, and all the fleeting glory afforded to a championship team. All well and good. Now, the Dallas Stars were the runners-up, and while their entitlements are to a lesser extent, and in fact they do not get things such as the rings and the parades, they still get things such as the Clarence S. Campbell Bowl, which is a trophy most of you have never heard of. The a banner in the arena. And crushing disappointment that you came so close and left defeated. Now pay close attention because this next part's where I go a little off the rails. All right. So we have a similar structure on this slide. So we have Jesus Christ being the God of all creation. He is entitled to certain things. We have worship or latria, which entails sacrifice and adoration. We also have veneration, dulia, which is honor, praise, and devotion. Obviously a non-exhaustive list. All well and good. Well, in this number two slot, we have the Blessed Virgin Mary. She's the apex of creation. So she's also entitled to certain things, which is just veneration or dulia. Honor, praise, and devotion. So as you can see, she's missing some of the things, namely latria, that we owe to God. But she has veneration, a lower form of it, for herself. So pay real close attention, because I get real stupid in this next part. So, to top off this entirely, completely brilliant analogy, the conclusion is, the greatness of number two does not threaten the greatness of number one. If anything, it magnifies it. Sounds good, right? There's only one problem with it. It's heresy. This is just Arianism disguised as a hockey fascination. So there you have it. I accidentally stumbled into Arianism. So let's try to fix this analogy, shall we? All right, so perhaps a more appropriate analogy would be something a little along the lines of this. If the Tampa Bay Lightning, being the champion team, was analogous to the Blessed Virgin Mary, then God would be God. There's just no comparison. My chief mistake was treating existence as one category, when in reality there are two, creator and creation. Treating Jesus as merely the top of the list doesn't begin to tell the full story. Maybe this diagram will help. So let's start with that first category that I mentioned, the creator. Don't think we're stepping into any controversy by saying that the creator is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So what do we owe to the Creator. Well, we owe worship, latria, we owe, we owe adoration and sacrifice. We also owe veneration, dulia, so praise, honor, devotion. Once again, this is a non-exhaustive list. Now, let's go on to the second category, creation. This is going to be a little different. So, up at the top of creation, we've got the Blessed Virgin Mary, other saints and angels, and then literally everything else. So what can we give? Well, we can give veneration. We can give dulia. Now, this does bring us to a very special use case with hyperdulia, because she's at the top. Now, the big takeaway between these two groups is that no matter how this list is organized or stacked up, it can never take away 
from this list. So the main problem with the Arians wasn't that they didn't exalt Jesus enough. It's that they had him in the wrong category on that diagram. They called him all the good things except for God. And that was a problem. So going back over to the creation side of things, St. John Henry Newman once stated that if we exalt Mary too much, then we owe the Arians an apology. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It truly does help the channel. And as always, thank you so much for your time and God bless.